Inventor live with your screen once again. For today's return demonstration, I would love to show you the proper procedure of infant's bath. So, have you ever wondered why it is very important to know the proper procedure of infant's bath? Well, let's see. Before anything else, infant bathing is the practice and activity of cleaning an infant by bathing. It has been characterized as being fun, but care is recommended when an infant is in or around water. Mo because most drowning deaths in children happen at home, often when a child is left alone while bathing. But therefore, bath time can be fun, for fun time for you and your baby. So this time, for infant bath, you have our assessment. So first is review general assessment, data about the baby, and also observe for any signs of abnormality. So for the object age of infant bath, so we have to clean and to refresh the infant, also to promote circulation, and also to promote comfort, to extend of security, warm and love, to remove position and expression of and that is to allow extension of the body for skin breakdown. And for our equipment, we have here of course our baby, the mattress, our soap dish, but we don't have a soap dish. So we are going to use a liquid soap instead. Our baby lotion, baby powder, Baby oil, this is only optional. Our baby brush, our baby's clothes, the socks, the, the hat, the clothes, washcloth, diaper, and of course, the baby's towel. And also our thermometer. We have also here our basin with water. The water that we are going to use to, to bath the ba our baby, it should be warm or look warm. Make sure of that. So, and also our alcohol for sanitizing. So that's our equipment. Now let's go to the procedure. For the implementation of our infant's bath, let me introduce to you our baby. So here's Shan Shan. So supposed to be this is a real baby. First we have to gather all the materials needed. So then don't forget to wash our hands before touching our baby or simply sanitize. Then check the check the baby's temperature. We're going to use the thermometer so to provide the baseline temperature. So So okay, our temperature shows normal. So our baby is okay. Then next we have to undress our baby using mommy restraint. So, so don't remove yet the diaper because we will start with the head. So, the purpose of not removing the diaper it is so that. Our uniform won't be, won't catch dirt. So, straight. Then. Okay. So, then, um, hold our baby like a football to prevent the baby from falling. So, this is a the football hold. So, the feet of the baby, we will secure it here. So the arm and the palm hands is on under the head and the neck. So our free hand will be the one to wash the baby's head. So, so first we have to wet our washcloth. We have to wash first the eyes. Okay, then the face. Okay, then using a shampoo. We will rinse Then we have to rinse 
and of course, dry using towel. Okay, so um, after drying the baby's head and face to prevent chilling, so after washing after the washing the infant's head, place the baby on the crib with diaper to prevent baby from falling. Okay, then. So, we will remove the baby's diaper. Then, proceed to the entire body, arms, chest, abdomen, back, and legs. After removing the diaper. Wash with soap and then rinse and wrap. So... Here's our baby. The, give considerations to the neck. Here. We can also put our baby in the basin. Make sure to clean the sensitive part, the underarm, the neck, inside the palm, also the body. Botox and the genital area of our baby. Lastly, the feet. Make sure to wash every finger. Then, make sure to dry our baby immediately to prevent chilling or so that our baby won't touch a cold. We have to use a, a uh, an oil or refined alcohol and a cotton pads for the umbilical of our baby. So, we don't have a refined, we are going to use the oil, baby oil. So, in cleaning the umbilical of a baby, make sure to use a one direction so that the umbilical won't get infection. So, here it is. One direction from top to bottom, top to bottom, pa top to bottom, a counterclockwise step. So, just one, after one, there, there, we, use to, we have to use the other side to prevent infection, like I said. So, after cleaning the umbilical of our baby, we, ha we are going to use a baby powder for the buttox or in the chest. So, here's our baby powder. The purpose of our baby powder is to prevent a baby rush. So, then, our lotion to make the skin of our baby won't get dry and prickly. Then, Now, it's our time to put our diaper. Here's our diaper. I'm using a diaper a comfort span so that less now now. Okay. Then, we have to put the clothes of our baby. So, Make sure to put first the shirt. Talking about
about the soap, the powder, the lotion, when when you talk about baby, it, it is something mild. So make sure that the soap, the lotion, the powder that you that you that you are using for your baby is mild. Because sometimes some other baby get some irritation. That's why we have to think mild. Pajama. Make sure that your baby is comfortable. have to put a hat. You have to be careful. Then, our socks. Because like I said, without a sock, a baby can catch a cold. Then, if possible, we can make use of a glove so that the nails, so that its face won't get hurt by its nails. So, here we go. Our baby is done and good. Lastly, have to put over our baby. And now, we're done. So, our baby is still a newborn. So, that, so, you are going to use a brush if your baby have a hair. So, our baby don't have a hair, so I don't use that brush. But, in some cases, they use brush for so that the hair of the baby won't get crumbled. So, that's it. Our infant's butt. I hope you learned something and enjoy our video. So, watch art for more. Thank you so much. May God bless us all.